What's up, fish tank people? Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Your boy D took a little bit of time off, took a little bit of a vacay with the family. In today's video, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about some killing plants at the greenhouse. We're gonna talk about growing some plants at the greenhouse. We're gonna talk about the greenhouse expansion. We're gonna talk about the return of the lady. And we're gonna get a little bit woo woo. But first, I wanna show you a couple cool things going on in this pond. Gotta show some of this action right here. This is Anacharis. Uh, growing, flowering, underneath a bunch of algae, but look at all these little flowers. This is a native plant to the U.S., illegal in a bunch of different states. But check out all these tiny little flowers coming up through here. Coming, coming at ya. You can bet your bottom dollar that I snatch ya with the Method Man statue. Look at that. This isn't even the species I'm trying to talk about today. So as we roll out the Greenhouse 2.0, folks, I have to tell you, uh, took a little bit of a break. Did make a couple of videos and it felt fan freaking tastic. I'm an Aquarius. My symbol is literally a dude pouring water. That's why I'm into the whole fish tanks thing. But one of the uh, the traits of the old horoscope of the Aquarius is they need some solitude. Took some solitude. Got some great time to reflect and relax with my beautiful family uh, and spent some time in the trees. I want you to check out this fat tree. Uh, we took a quick vacay down to South Carolina. They've got those massive live oaks. And this is one of my favorite trees on the planet. I like plants, I like trees. This video is in reference to one of the OG original gangster plant people. His name is Mr. Charles Frazier and you gotta check this tree out. He could have cut down this tree the designer of sea pines in Hilton Head. He could have cut down this tree. This tree is probably as old as our country for perspective. Like, look how huge this thing is. Could have cut down this tree, could have cut down all these other trees and made the marina bigger, but he didn't. He left it. He designed the entire resort around trees. He actually flew over it and drew where the roads were going to be on the map, creating a bomb place for vacations and leaving super pieces of nature like this intact. Charles Frazier, deserving a proper shout out. Yeah, so Charles Frazier is the man and uh, his photo is up in my office as both an awesome plant person and as one heck of an entrepreneur developing nature in the vacation resort areas. That being said, it's time to get back to work. So what are we working on today? Well, the biggest thing we got going on is we're trying to expand Greenhouse 2.0 and then eventually Greenhouse 3.0. So I've been working diligently on that. You guys saw the clips last week or whatever week it was where I was bringing a bunch of dirt in. Well, now I gotta do some stuff with the city. Um, we've actually been expanding out back, but more importantly to you and your aquariums today i want to talk about temperature swings because it's a constant struggle in the greenhouse and it's something that you just have to kind of evolve and work with but there are parallels that can easily be transposed into your aquariums uh, temperatures are going to be a problem here we've had unseasonably cool weather here in kentucky but that is all about to heat up like the old nelly song oh it's getting hot in here it's getting hot Shout outs to my man Gary from the USPS. Stay out of the way of that. Okay, so we roll out here to Greenhouse 2.0. Gonna talk about 3.0 in a second, but I wanna talk about uh, the biggest thing we're kind of dealing with at this time, and that is temperature swings and what we're doing about it and then how it's gonna relate into your aquarium, so check it. All right, so we're rolling in here. You can see we've got the door open here because we get uh, shade all through in here and then a nice breeze through here coming through now in here as we walk in typically we have these closed in the winter time full switch full stop you guys can remember in the winter we have the uh, solar pool cover on those days are gone done game over and now we're into shade cloth territory one of the things I didn't know I'd love so much more than Ryan almost more than Ryan is uh, the vents in this greenhouse are on a Wadsworth controller. I thought that thing was overpriced. It's actually pretty tight because it keeps our temperatures within about a 10 degree swing. And then with the water, the water temperatures uh, hold temps even better than that because there's large bodies of water. Got a 24 by 24 shade cloth just uh, jettily put in here because we're trying to figure out where we want to shade versus where we don't want to shade. We still run the halides in the morning just for a second to give them a pop. Uh, here's some plants we're gonna talk about later. But in the morning, they get that nice little punch. And some Pogo Stamen Helferi in there. So we've got this shade cloth. Here's the situation. When I came back from vacation, I had this basin, and it's my fault because it's my design. 
This basin, you can see the picture here, was empty because of this right here. It was overflowing down. Again, original design, everything is a beta test for me. The water overflowed onto here and eventually just pumped itself out. And I wanna show the damage it did. The lesson to you and your aquariums is keep your temps steady. These are the Anubius Nana Petites. This is the worst of them. But these got a little bit beat up. You can see a little bit hot and cold temp swings. They'll be fine because they're in water flow now and the temperatures are stable. But you want to watch out for that uh, in your own aquarium, particularly in summertime. And if any of you are trying to like play with tanks outside, you're going to want to make sure you put them in the shade, which leads me to the next part of this wonderful journey. Let's roll out here. Okay, so as we roll out here, I want to show some of the fun we're having. We're going to talk about those in a second. Let's talk about these. These are the Scrat, let's grow some plants outside in the summer basins. We had some water wisteria that uh, was melting in one of the back basins, so we just kind of spread it out here. This is obviously not sellable stuff, but we had a problem because we tried one of the species in here. We had these Coffifolia out here, and these got a little too hot, a little too much sunlight. Anubius does not like the temp swings, and full sun is what it is. Other plants don't care. This is the Gangster Hygrophila Cordata Red with new tips. Hygrophila does not care. So these sit uh, just under 12 inches tall. The problem with that is real hot on top, real cold on the bottom, not quite enough depth for certain plants. This one over here, the Val, got a little too hot in full sun, so we had to watch out for that. This is Hygrophila Cordata Red from a month ago that we just threw out here and said hope for the best and it's coming back. If anybody's got any comments on plants they've like thrown outside or whatever, like these are like just in a tiny little crap tub on the side and they're slowly coming, obviously not sellable, but slowly certainly coming back. And while I was out of town, these got set up. We're having to do some different things because we're adjusting based on uh, what the weather is giving us. Again, this is the standard uh, two six by six is high. That one's taken down and I'm gonna show you that. This one over here, we're gonna go three tall on and this is gonna be where we're gonna grow Val because Val is one of our best sellers. We believe we can grow it, likes a little bit taller, gives you more room for temperature fluctuations and then we've already got, last year we grew out of one little tub you can see the clip here, this ridiculous amount of uh, dwarf sage that we actually took to Aquashella, but this is just like a start. This has been out here for a month and it's already kind of popping off. So we're excited about that, but now I want to talk about the expansion going on and I want to get a little bit woo woo with you. All right, so this is the super fun part for me. It's going to take a minute to get there, but uh, you have to have a clear vision. Arnold Schwarzenegger talks about you have to have the clear vision of what you want. People in life don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. D knows what he wants. Uh, this is fun, right? So I got all this graded out over here and then on Friday, my man Charlie, my neighbor who owns that building and that building, hits me up. He's like, hey man, you need more rock over there? Now a load of rock, a load of 57s costs uh, 500 and some bucks delivered. That's not sprayed, that's not you know spread out or whatever. So he goes, hey man, I got an extra load of rock from this job that canceled on me. You want it, 500 bucks sprayed. So I got all of this sprayed by my neighbor for 500 bucks. Now let me tell you this folks, do you think that the lady would ever just voluntarily come on over to Fail.0 and say, yo, let me help you out with anything? No! So here is the woo-woo-ness for you before we get into the Species Sunday. Folks, Napoleon Hill said it, for every seed of adversity, for every failure, for every heartache comes with it the equal or greater value on the backside. Something to that effect. You're gonna struggle, it's gonna suck, but guess what? On the other side of struggle and suck comes awesome. And I got all this graded out for super cheap. And then I got it all rocked for the cost of just a load of rock and then sprayed and beautiful for free. I'm gonna show you some plants in a second, but I do wanna talk about what's up with 3.0. All right, so this is Greenhouse 2.0. We're gonna call this one over here 3.0. 35 and a half feet by 35 and a half feet of also sexy. Now we're gonna go to here. Now here's where it gets fun and here's where it gets wild. So I have under contract and two thirds of the way paid for. Thank you for all your business and helping me get to this point. Uh, the greenhouse that was gonna run 
to right here. So from this stake, which fell down in filming, so from right there, all the way to there was going to be the next greenhouse. And I'm talking to my neighbor Charlie, he actually goes, dude, make it bigger. So I hit him up and I said, why don't I make it 12 foot bigger because those, uh, those trusses run 12 foot apart. So this part to here is another 12 feet. So that line right there, we can go 12 foot. And I hit up my guy at our friends at Rao Brothers. So now, instead of the greenhouse being from there over, it's going to go from there to there but i got to get a variance from our friends at banks engineering to make sure that's happening with the city of nicholasville oh by the way city of nicholasville way easier to do business with than the old fayette county so that's what's happening behind the scenes super stoked about that but it's sunday it's spigot spigot species sunday i'm gonna reach into here grab a couple of plants and then go outside because my dudes are working i'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of this i'm gonna make andrew edit the name of this this is a mosaic pant Pant, Ludwigia cell. How do you say this, Ryan? I don't know what it is. We call it mosaic plants, type of Ludwigia. Sedawoides, as as the plant master says. Floating plant, floating plants block out light, absorb excess nutrients because they have the aerial advantage. This is a super fly plant that we have rolling in here, and uh, we love it. But I'm gonna grab this Anubius, this Anubius. This Anubius, I'm going to go over there and show you a flowering Anubius, then I'm going to grab some beat up Anubius, then we're going to do some Species Sunday about Anubius. Flowering Anubius, did I say flowering Anubius? I meant flowering Anubius. Nana, I meant flowering Anubius. Nana, I said flowering Anubius. Nana, kids don't try this at home. Time to bring it to you raw like shimmy shimmy y'all in the rain talking about some Anubius folks. Got to love it. Anubius Africa. When you hear the word Anubius, I want you to think hard water, fast moving streams, slower growers, and higher calcium content. I've got one, two, three, four, five species I'm about to talk about. But first, I got to give you a heavily caffeinated rant and it goes like this. Camera guy, you're catching this. Here's the deal. I am sick and tired of people saying, I can't keep plants. I've got hard water. What? Huh? Hard water is fantastic, okay? It's a competitive advantage of mine because I live in the bluegrass state, home of high calcium content water directly out of my taps. That's why the horses grow fast here because the high calcium content water goes into our water table, grows into the grass. The grass is full of high calcium. The horses get strong bones and race fast around here in the bluegrass state. High calcium content, hard water is a good thing for you. Don't give me that. I'm going to use our row water and rebuild it stuff. Everybody's city's different, but hard water is good in New York City and like up in like Seattle and all that. They have soft water. Water, that's terrible for growing plants. So you want to have hard water. Hard water is good. Hard water is Anubius. Here we go. Cichlid people. You guys want a plant you can keep with cichlids? Here it is. Anubius. All this. I'm going to start with the alpha and the omega. We're going to start with Anubius barteri. Okay. Anubius barteri. Big, huge, broad leaves. Absolutely love it. Shout out to my man Brian for getting me into this plant back in the day. Anubius barteri right here big leaf you could break this these came in monster by the way you could break this all over the place you could break this here here anywhere you see a little node you can break it and turn it into another plant cichlid keepers cichlid people you can use wire you can tie it to whatever you want to do with wire like this ask for it we'll throw it in free with your order anubius barteri the Anubius, I wish I had more of it. Now it's sold out. Golden coin. This stuff is great. Obviously called golden coin because it has a slightly little uh, lighter golden coin look. Smaller leaves. Anubius barteri golden coin. We've got this one right here. Now look, this is called Anubius uh, var glabra, however. Barteri, Anubius barteri var glabra. Now the deal with this is, I don't know why it's called a barteri because it's got such long things. Looks more like an Anubius minima to me, but the variegation on here, super fly. Take it out of the pot. You can see all the roots and everything. You could break this into a couple. This, this would break into easily three different plants. Got to show that. And then we go down here. We go into the Anubius Nana Petite. Okay, I skipped Nana. You saw Nana with the flowers. This is Anubius Nana Petite. This is actually one of the ones that got a little bit too hot. A little bit of break it off. But I got a curveball for you all, folks. I want to talk about the Coughifolia. Your boy brought in about 300 of these and killed or at least damage about 50 of them with two big attempt swings. This Anubius is a little bit more sensitive than most Anubius. It's got the dope red stem, just like most plants, generally speaking. More red, more color, uh, the more 
harder they are to keep. It's a little bit more sensitive. It want to keep a little bit more water flow on it. It's got the variegated leaf, super fly, general Anubias tips. Um, medium they can handle highlight as long as you have a lot of water flow on them they absolutely hate temperature swings uh ask me how i know this i nuked a bunch of anubius lancelot back in the day in 1.0 water flow uh, wire them down think cichlids think ph above seven i wouldn't try to run these uh in too high attempts like a discus tank or something like that that would be too high of temps and too low of calcium content anubius on a sunday baby if you like what we're doing hit the subscribe button everybody make it an awesome week and tank on Later.